What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today, I have some distressing news, okay? Yes, I know from the patch notes that we all knew that our beloved ball lightning for the Sork, or Sorcerer, Sorceress, the second best build in the game from a season ago, has been utterly nerfed into the ground. You know, at first when I saw that ball lightning was getting just you know like at least a small nerf i was like man okay reading it i'm like that's not that bad it should still be just okay however after plenty of testing oh boy how wrong was i okay now before we get into the bad i do want to talk about all the good things about the build we're going to go over my gear my setup and just how it works i am rocking over a thousand intelligence on this build which is kind of awesome now yeah we're not anywhere near a million attack power like the barbs uh blizzard i don't know what you're thinking but let's get into the build and just how how short-sighted i was with the nerf so of course we have ball lightning everybody knows and loves this build from a season ago it is still incredibly strong and is based on summoning ball lightnings to do a crap ton of damage so first and foremost i am going to go over all of my skills and just kind of break down what I have here because things have changed since last season. So we again we are not running a basic here. We got two points into firebolt just to get to down here. Now, firebolt, we will talk about with a lot of variations with the build. Now, before I continue, I do want to say that the build can 100 percent do all content in the game. Okay, it can do T100s, you can go fight Lilith, you can go do mouths, you know, the echo, you can go do the new boss. You can do all this stuff with this build. However, it is just such a lackluster in comparison to a season ago. So, next we got Devastation into Elemental Dominus for more damage. And then, of course, we got three out of our four defensive skills. We got Flame Shield into Shimmering for more life. Um, however, if you do want to do Mystical because you're okay with life, then you get the Mana Cost Reduction, which is good because Ball Lightning does cost 34, and that is a lot. We got basically max rank teleport into shimmering for more uh, DR. Max on a uh, glass cannon, one point elemental tombment for a chance to reset one of these. We got ice armor with enhanced just for a little bit of mana regen because this build does suffer a little bit on that. We got one point into ice blades. Now, the reason that we do have this on the skill bar is mainly just for Talrashas. So that's the only, oops, excuse me, that is the only reason that we actually have ice blades on here. Otherwise, if you don't care about getting all three stacks, then you can just get rid of this. Uh, Lightning Spear is going to be pretty much in almost every build now because Lightning Spear not only stuns, but more importantly, it makes enemies vulnerable, which is something that the Sorks desperately needed from a season ago. Um, we kind of lost out a lot on that with the damage bucket. However, Ball Lightning was just so strong, it didn't matter. That is not the case anymore. Uh, three points into Conjuration Mastery because we're always going to have Ice Blades and Lightning Spear. is just going to be just like farming like crazy. This is actually replacing our Chain Lightning um, in our enchantment slot, which we'll talk about in just a second. So we're always going to get the 3%, right, for each Conjuration. Then we got one point in Inner Flames with Devouring Blaze for more crit damage. Now you're going to ask how do we get Burning Enemies. I'll talk about that in just a second with our gear choices. Of course, Max Ball Lightning into Wizards just to make Ball Lightning crackle and be able to get more of these. One point into Static Discharge for crits, as well as getting mana with Crackling Energy just really helps. The build does suffer just a little bit with mana. Of course, we're grabbing Unstable Currents uh, all the way to Max, which you could really get rid of this point if you really don't need it. You could take this point out, and you could just go in and just Max Teleport, which is probably just a better option. And then Coursing Currents for more crit. And then Electrocution just for a little bit more DR. And then we're doing Overflowing Energy. However, Veers works just fine. Um, I would really only run Veers if you really need a bunch of DR from the, um, the Veers Mastery skill where we get even more DR. Now, our enchantment bonuses and options here are Ball Lightning for just more Ball Lightning. It allows us to do more damage. As well as Lightning Spear. Now, how this works is when you pop it, you're going to see the Lightning Spears just go. And they're what's going to cause all the enemies to be vulnerable and then just be stunned for two seconds, which is just really huge. Now, I am just going to reset this really quickly just so um, that way my, my pet doesn't do it. Oh, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. No, no. Come back. 
but that's why that is in there okay so you can do either one now let's get into my gear choices here and just kind of what i got we got almost 11,000 attack power uh 15 000 life which is huge and we do cap our armor we do cap this with disobedience in the amulet which is very important in this build it helps our survivability a lot so we got disobedience in here of course we're doing talrashas for just mad damage we got prodigies here okay we're doing prodigies so every time we proc a cooldown which is every five skills here we get 20 mana back this really helps with our mana fixing because ball lightning does cost a lot um i did test this with the um what is it the chain lightning one i don't have the ring on me but it's the chain lightning one where when you have chain lightning and it bounces it gives you three mana back because i put chain lightning in my enchantment slot uh that's okay but however we just lose out on vulnerability and more stun so i opted for prodigies it just works better we got storm swell for more damage as well as conceited for more damage because we always have a barrier i opted out of essus however you can do essos here for more crit chance if you'd like um i like ghost walkers just to move a little bit more freely and having increased move speed however flicker step is probably your end game highlight here because when you're moving through enemies uh you get four seconds off of your ultimate cooldown and actually there's something that's really unique here because we do rock like uh we rock like um where is it we rock like juggernauts in some cases and that just kind of balances out really well but yeah either one of these boots is super good for the build you can do essus or you can do flicker step i like ghost walkers for now um then of course to bolts will for more damage and this really helps us with our resource our current skills that give us unstoppable to proc that is going to be teleport and flame shield okay flame shield has a little bit longer cooldown however teleport along with unstable currents is really going to this is going to reset constantly and we're always going to get this so we should be unstoppable pretty much all the time then of course we have gravitational which is the bread and butter of the build i just need a better roll 15 percent is poo poo uh then we got remnant here if you don't want to rock remnant you could definitely do something else like juggernaut you could do um ever living or you could do the ice one which makes um Ice armor get not only make you unstoppable, but also give you 30% more armor. Those are all good choices, but Remnant is really clean here. And then, of course, I have the best in slot Harlequin Quest here, or Shaco. This is just best in slot. If you do not have this, that is okay. You could definitely do God Slayers. God Slayers works just fine if you want to rock that. Um, or you could just do a normal helmet with cooldown, etc. So, um, <laughs> wow, that's just popping off. So that's the gear choices, guys. Um, again, in our uh, construct, these are going to be the same for pretty much every single build. We got Flash of Adrenaline with, with Duration, Tactical in Initiative, and then Tempest with Resource, Fortify, and Mockery. Now, for all those, real quick, just side note, for all those, um, for like all of Rob's and all of his research about getting the pet to do an insane amount of damage, those builds are built specifically for the pet to be boosted. To do a crap ton of damage i personally don't know how well your normal build will work on top of building it specifically to boost your pet as far as like you know going through nightmare dungeons or doing whatever i know they do a lot of damage but it's different because you're just stationary it just seems to me like it's for doing bosses which is completely fine like go wreck bosses do that stuff like go farm durial go do whatever um okay so with that said let's go over to uh our paragon board real quick and then we're going to talk about some of the negatives to this build and why it is just it just feels so lackluster so we got destruction here for more crit damage we got adept to boost our mastery skill we got control for just even more damage against um cc'd enemies elementalist for just more damage because we are hitting fire lightning and cold we got enchanter for non physical damage increase which is huge we also have reinforced for more dr and then we're doing territorial for even more damage. Now, a couple of things to know after the Paragon board. All this stuff will be linked down in the description below, guys. I don't want the video to go to for too long. But I do want to talk about some of the things that have changed that really just hurt this build a lot. So, uh, I don't know if I have the board. I don't know if I have the board up. Okay, I do have the board somewhere. Um, where is it? There's Frigid Fate, which still works. So, Static Surge. So, after spending mana, your next cast of chain lightning or charge bolts makes enemies vulnerable okay so you can still use this to a degree but it's it doesn't work as well now 
okay so you can still try to do this with chain lighting if you wish it just doesn't really work like it used to because what we used to do was we would proc static surge and we would do chain lightning in our enhancement slot which would not only make enemies vulnerable but then we could take the gear piece and it would give us three mana back every single time chain lightning bounces this has been changed and this is why we rock lightning spear in there instead uh, the next big change to this uh, as far as the paragon board i think that's the only thing that was in the paragon board the other big negative to this build is just it's just a big lack of damage in our mana okay so these things really hurt the build a lot we're not able to do as much damage as we used to i really wish that the devs just did not make this build so much weaker like we we were s tier and we're we've been knocked all the way out into b tier at best let me tell you farming 100s is fine but you need to have your armor cap i would even drop disobedience here and do just straight juggernauts for another 5500 armor like i would do this and just cap this immediately and you could swap disobedience for something else like that's what i would do just to farm t100s but with that said guys like the build is incredibly strong um you can still do everything these are elites here so like you can still do everything and the build still does decent damage you just don't see the bars draining as fast you just don't see it right and then let's go to a boss you just don't see the like you don't see the bars just don't drain as fast like it's still pretty good like it's still pretty good right like it's it's not bad it's definitely doable that's why i say you can do all content in the game but it just i don't know man it just doesn't slap it like it used to and the the nerf to it is just too much however again i don't want to bash it too bad because the build is still really good it'll do all content in the game and it's really good at just farming overworld stuff like hell tides etc even though i prefer fireball over that but yeah i wanted to bring the video i really wanted to test this thoroughly and just give my opinion on chain lightning because the diablo 4 community has really been just like busting with the fact that barbarian is just so strong it's not even a competition anymore and now rogue is starting to get up there cracking over 200 million damage which is just insane and it seems like sork druid as well as necromancer have just all been left in the dust and it's not even close so i hope that we do get to find some other builds we're going to test some things we're going to test arc lash blizzard we're going to test ice shards we're going to test some more things with sork and just kind of Hopefully we find something that really is just the A tier for Sork mains. Uh, I'm doing my best to bring that to you guys. But yeah, everything will be down in the description below. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the new nerfed ball lightning build. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.